Hello, Sagittarius. This is a timeless reading for what is the universe has in store for you or what is the message from the universe to you. If you're not a subscriber, tap the button, hit the bell. And if you like a personal reading with me, that information is in the link below. Your first card out is the Ace of Swords, followed by the Three of Swords. Then we have, wow, you have a lot of Swords energy, Page of Swords, followed with your own card, the Temperance. And then we do have the Ten of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Well, that's nice to see. All right. So let's see what is what is the message here from the universe. I'm going to... It's, it's just so... This is like, boom, here's the message. The message is to really, where are you putting your thoughts? So it's about the truth. The Ace of Swords is when you are living in alignment with your own mind. This is your truth, the truth of you having complete clarity and coming to this place of your own knowledge. So have you been really thinking about the things that have pained you? Have you been escaping into that? Or are you now about to recognize and see what is your card is about being the alchemist as above, so below, really learning how to bring that fire, that water into alignment. And with this for you, what is saying is that you're to learn about what it means to be the temperance, what it means to have happiness within your life with all that exists. So the Ace of Swords shows up to talk about your truth. So it earns its crown by all that it's experienced. And here right now, it is the sword that it comes and says, hey, the divine message is you're having triumph over the love that has hurt you, having triumph over anything that has pained you. So it's a card of great force in all of it, in love as well as in your other experiences, in hatred, whatever. So it's within the polarity, love, hatred, whatever. It's that balance. So the universe is saying, my message to you is, the truth is, is that you've been through something, the broken heart, so you can bring clarity about where you gave your power and throw yourself off kilter. Everything that comes into your experience is the family unit, the contracts that we have made in order for you to understand what does it mean to be the temperance? Well, it means that you're to bring yourself in harmony with all that is. So finding peace in chaos, finding peace in family, finding peace no matter what is happening on your outside, this is the truth. Wearing the crown is that I have found my harmony and my peace and my zero point in the face of adversity. It's absolutely beautiful. So the card that wants to come out for you from the star card is the quest comes out. The Huntress. And I love that. So Sagittarian card, isn't it? When you look at the bow and the arrow, that is kind of so about Sagittarius. It's This is the Pleiades light. Is their quest to be wild and free. The Pleiades light. My quest to be wild and free. That is your truth. And you're really recognizing that. It's the moon goddess and the Huntress that are coming in alignment. So which is what uninhibited, it's carefree, it's authentic, and it's through focus, dedication, true aim, and faith and action that you're going to hit your target by going through. So this is having your own truth. And where are you pointing that arrow? And it's about you staying on track and you're being a student into learning how to manifest this poised way of being within yourself. And you're doing it in your own unique way. And you're to enjoy your journey as that student into the family of love, into the happiness, into that Ten of Cups, because your pursuit is the Ten of Cups. So it's promising that bountiful, beautiful experience because you are on point. And the universe is saying, bravo, you are right there. You're about to hit your mark. It's five, the card of change. So anytime we see the number five, five is the card of change. It's about you changing, you're shifting 
from how you have felt before. So it's the unexpected and the expected. It's when anything can happen, and it usually does because it is the card of change. And you're to think now with all the source energy of your life and as an adventure with the quest, right, in which you're moving towards, towards new opportunities, whether it's the unfamiliar or it's the familiar, but you're embracing your expansion, your movement, and the change that you're experiencing. I'm sorry, I'm making coffee and that is so, it's okay. It's like so loud, I'm so sorry. So it's a time for you to kind of go with the flow and aim your mark towards the change so you can improve this situation by coming out of any fears when it comes to the matters of the heart. The universe is guiding you towards that with the page of swords <laughs> it's so hard just needed a cup of coffee we have the law of attraction so the page of Swords says what you think about you're putting into that manifestation so the most powerful universal law is my friend so you're making you know your connection with the universe you create with your every thought by the universal law of attraction that which is like unto itself is drawn you're attracting the essence of whatever you're giving your attention to wanted and unwanted and what did we say about excuse me okay, I just had to unplug that change so where you're putting your attention is really essential at this time with the temperance card and the card of the universe is right into this reality yes you are again swords communication how we speak what we say what we're writing so your quest is that you are the one who is creating this reality for yourself what are you telling the universe what is it that you're setting out what is it that you're writing because it's giving you the opportunity to have your truth and to take every day as a blank page. So your next chapter that you're writing is about happiness. So you're writing your own tale, your own infinite abundance, your own universe of possibilities and probabilities is what you're doing. So what you're doing is that you are really bringing yourself into a place of balance it wasn't bad. It wasn't good. I've learned a lot. I'm now changing. I'm creating my own reality and I'm taking the pen. My pen is magic wand. And what is it that I want to write for the next chapter of my life, which it comes to what, which it comes to the 10 of cups. So your happiness. So you're writing about your happiness and being in that place. And I'm just going to put that back because it was saying, I didn't want to look at any of that, and I had seen it, and I saw the word and wanted to grab it, but here we go. Let's see. Okay, this is the one that wants to come out, and here it says, Three-Eyed Raven. As sunrise hits upon the dew, a messenger raven calls out with news. Prepare for the unexpected. I love that. So, Again, we talked a lot about the expected and the unexpected, the wanted and the unwanted. Prepare for the unexpected, which falls on the Ten of Cups. Until next time, much love, much light. Namaste.